everybody, welcome to Chubbox Reviews. I'm Stan, my lovely wife Tanya here again, and we're doing a reaction to the Andor series, the Star Wars series that I don't think anyone was asking for. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really kind of weird that, well, what have we got from the films that was pretty like well received? Oh, Rogue One, the one good movie that no one like kind of objected to. Yeah, but, Rogue One was um, really good. Like, and even, too, with uh, Force Awakens, everyone's like, where's Luke? And then freaking Return of the Jedi, like, they killed off Han. And then uh, The Last Jedi, everyone was like, where's Luke? That's not Luke. That's a mm. freaking, that's you know, Luke that's Uncle. Jake Skywalker or something. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, and then Rise of Skywalker was, like, pretty bad. Mm. Solo was something that we didn't really ask for, but it was kind of okay-ish. Okay but Rogue One really had a... Um, group of kind of misfits almost like yeah yeah but um just um, knowing where it ends it's kind of like what why and this takes place five years before rogue one mm. so um alan tuick who you met yeah um he said he's not in it and i was oh, like that's sad. i know like hopefully by the last episode it's got him turn yeah, around I and be K2S. like i thought this was going to be like a buddy cop situation yeah with Andor and um K2SO. I think that would be really cool if they did do that. Now what but are they doing? Yeah, they... Uh, who knows? But anyway, first reaction, first look at it. Um, we're pretty excited. Yeah. A lot I, of stuff I, coming I don't know out anything of about it, so let's do it. Yep, here we go. I don't know what this is all about. It's very old school. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, I like the music. It's very throaty, well, Viking-esque. Yeah, they got to have a uh, separate tone to, you know, the Jedi aren't coming to save the day. It's got to be more focused on a rebellion starting. The old dropships of, uh, ah. Okay. <clears throat> hey. They're so proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Hunger Games a little bit. Yeah. They're everywhere. A little bit of a Game of Thrones vibe to it. Not. More Mothma. Hey, like that guy. it's uh, what's his name? Yeah. Um, no uh, hey, is that a clone? Cloning facility. Got to see the, the senator. Okay. That's what a reckoning sounds like. Doesn't really tell you much. Yeah, it just, um, it seems a little bit on the nose with let's have this, mm. let's have this whole, uh, in the Imperial um, round table and stuff is just all older white guys. And I'm like, kind of, why'd you, you know, we saw in uh, the Death Star scene mm. in uh, A New Hope where it is a group of like all different um dudes like trying to grab at power and stuff but yeah this is focused i guess on the lower level um people like a little bit of a solo thing but i think this is going to be a little bit more of a um rebellion mm. sort of in the starting yeah well for like, me it just reminded me of hunger games where you've got district 12 kind of the poverty and then you got the high um the high class district one um pretty much just organizing the destruction of everyone yeah it doesn't like none of the planets in here seem familiar apart from like they were showing the senates there mm. so they're on Corazon at one point following Mon Mothma and yeah. like hearing her saying like they know now they're kind of following me or, or whatever but um yeah I it's going to be interesting. I'm not a fan of Freddie Prince Jr. I don't care for him. He's a mm -hmm. bit of a douche. But if they put him in here as Kane and, um, you know, because, yeah, all right, this is five years before um, 
it's in the same timeline as uh, Star Wars Rebels, okay. the animated series. So I won't mind so much if Fairy Prince is playing um, Caden. Like yeah. that, that'd be fine. I don't know. I, mean, I don't really like it at all. He's, <laughs> he's just he'll a, be playing a character. So he's just I, too I, much of a bro voice. He, I mean, he does he does the voice of Caden, and you know, I join Caden. I I mean, yeah, Caden. He was really cool. I think Ezra was was Very good. Cool, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Not Sabine. To, yeah, Sabine and and all them. Like, it was nice to see. But I think um, having just cameos of them just in the background mm-hmm. stuff would be kind of cool to see. Everything that we saw in this is just showing the imperial like rule, and right. the empire is starting to get on everyone's nerves to the point where they're starting to. Not protest, but they're starting to have these sleeper cells of the rebellion starting right, right, up, right. and that's one thing I did like about um, um, what's his name? Um, it's Cassian Andor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Cassian Andor. Yeah. Him shooting that dude who was giving him the information in um, Rogue One. Mm-hmm. That was like the first kind of inklings of the rebellion's not so squeaky right. clean. Yeah. So, hopefully, it does show him. Like why he starts to get a little bit desperate and stuff, but yep. um, is there anything else you kind of? I, I like the look. I love going into the Star Wars universe. Yeah, I just, I'm a little bit desperate. There's no K two S O, but yeah. Hopefully, by the end of the season, we'll have something to show that he gets him at some stage. Yeah, because you do know that they have a buddy cop situation, and they were great Rogue together. One. Awesome, great, great chemistry. chemistry. Yeah. yeah, but let's know what you thought in the comments below. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. And thanks, thanks for watching, watching. guys. Bye. Bye.